Hey, welcome to News OK TV, everyone. I'm Dave Morris. And I'm Angie Bruss. It is Wednesday, April 11th, 2012. Thanks so much for joining us. It is a rainy one out there. Thunderstorms moved into North Oklahoma City Wednesday morning. The rain should taper off this afternoon. We'll see highs around 70. There is another chance for showers and storms Wednesday evening, mainly in southern and western parts of the state. The chances for showers and storms will continue in the early part of next week. Severe storms will be possible, so watch out for those, especially Thursday through Saturday. Blake Griffin and the LA Clippers are in town to play the Thunder Wednesday night. The Oklahomans Jenny Carlson and John Rohde, along with Tim Money, caught up with Griffin after practice. The former Sooner athlete has been tagged as a villain, but Griffin says he's been dealing with negative comments and opinions since he was in high school. Now, you know, you, just, you keep hearing it your whole, your whole career, so that's not something I'm worried about. It's just, it's just motivation to keep working harder. Arkansas fired head coach Bobby Petrino on Tuesday. University officials ripped Petrino for hiring his mistress and then intentionally misleading school leaders about the secret relationship. The affair came to light following the April 1st motorcycle accident involving both Petrino and his girlfriend. The school's athletic director said Petrino, quote, abused his authority and jeopardized the integrity of the football program. The former Razorbacks coach issued a lengthy apology and said he's now focused on trying to make amends with his family. Well, Carrie Underwood will be featured in the upcoming edition of the Parade magazine issue called What People Earn Then and Now. The magazine looks at people's paychecks over the past few decades. Just a few short years ago, Underwood made almost $16,000 as a waitress. Now her annual income is pegged at $20 million. The Round Barn in Arcady, you see it right there, will celebrate its 20th anniversary of its restoration on Saturday. The free public event will feature music, Route 66 boots, book signings, maybe some boot signings, dancing, food, and other fun attractions. The barn, which sits on the, the historic Mother Road, dates back to 1898. Tourists are still bringing millions of dollars to small town businesses that dot historic Route 66. Historic preservation and heritage tourism along the old highway brings in about $132 million a year to small communities from Chicago to Santa Monica, California. And it is, that's great. I know a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say that they love to travel that way, even though it's gonna be a little slower, but it's just so scenic and, and cool. It's really pretty. Lots of history. I know. Pops is out there next to the round bar, and yeah. then you can drive the other way. There's Aishin's off Okarchi and all sorts of- There you go. Historic healthy things everywhere you go <laughs> along Route 66, I guess. And what about this Carrie Underwood thing? $16,000 to $20 million? Hmm. There's hope for the waitress and all of us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It could just be six years away from. I know. Can you imagine? Striking a big or the next mega millions. But she really does give back a lot to, to uh, communities you know, in Oklahoma, especially her hometown. So mm -hmm. it, she's, a, she's a good girl. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this good episode of News OK TV. Uh, again, you can find these stories, headlines, and videos online at News OK. See ya.